Today we're going to talk home inspections. This is um, something that uh, is really important for home buyers, especially uh, first time home buyers. And the reason why I'm covering it is because it was an article that came out uh, yesterday from National Association of Realtors talking a little bit about um, inspections and how you could potentially shortcut them, whether you should shortcut them. Um, I don't know, we're going to talk about it. So, uh, in fact, we're going to read the article here. If you are new to the channel, my name is Brian Fitzpatrick. I am a full-time licensed realtor here in the Boston market. Um, I've got about 20 years of home improvement experience, so this is why this is really important to me. I, I've seen the whole gamut. I've seen some projects that are that have been done very, very well. I've seen other projects that were uh, not done particularly well. So it, <clears throat> in my mind, it is very important to have a thorough home inspection done. Uh, just to protect your interest in the, the home itself. Um, so anyways, let's get into it. <clears throat> this was written by, you know, you always have to look at who, who wrote something to look at the lens that it was written by, but it was written by the um, American Society of Home Inspectors. So obviously they have a vested interest in making sure that um, people are getting home inspections. Uh, to support their livelihood, but but be that as it may, it's it's really important. Now, before we even get started here uh, in the article, I, every state is different, and the laws are different in every state. So <clears throat> it's important to understand what the laws are in your state. But here in Massachusetts, it's considered a buyer beware state. So there's very few things that the seller actually needs to disclose. You know, what are the disclosure obligations? So. Massachusetts is one of the few states that still follows a legal rule known as caveat emptor or quote unquote buyer beware. This basically means that there is not a lot you are legally required to disclose to the buyer when selling your property. The burden is on the buyer to ask the right questions and perform a home inspection in order to determine the property's physical condition. Now this continues on. It says Massachusetts law requires only that home sellers disclose the existence of lead paint <clears throat> in the presence of a septic system. That's it. Um, there's nothing else required by the letter of the law here in Massachusetts. And that's why it's, it's really important to make sure that your real estate agent is asking those questions of the seller. So um, unless you ask those questions, they're not obligated to, to share any information with you, with the exception of lead paint or a septic system. In septic systems, there are of course some here in Massachusetts. They're mostly down in the Cape and out west in the Berkshires. Um, but the vast majority of the homes uh, here in Massachusetts are uh, tied into the municipal water and sewer system. In order to be more prepared and able to act faster in a frantic housing market, some buyers are bringing a home inspector with them on property walkthroughs so that they can confidently make an offer on a home. In the home inspection industry, these are known as walk and talk inspections, but they aren't a substitute for a traditional, more thorough home inspection, warm professional inspectors. Some even want to put an end to the practice of walk and talk inspections. Here, here. You know, the reality is, is you do need a thorough uh, inspection to make a decision whether you want to move forward or some uh, on a property. Such inspections may consist of 30 minute meetings in which an inspector reviews a property with a buyer and notes any visible defects. Because inspectors typically do not provide a report and there isn't enough time to provide a thorough evaluation, consumers who opt for preliminary buyer walkthroughs must rely on information the inspector is able to verbally relay during the consultation, states an article at the American Society of Home Inspectors website. Buyers may opt for a walk and talk inspection in order to feel comfortable making an offer free of an inspection contingency, which is obviously very desirable for uh, the seller, which may improve their competitive advantage in a hot market, which of course is what we're having right now. But some inspectors worry about the potential liability of walk and talk inspections. Home buyers should understand that when they waive the home inspection, they assume the risk of incurring significant costs to repair defects that might have been discovered during a home inspection. That is the crux of the argument here. 
when you, you know, home prices, I think here in, in Massachusetts, the average home price is now well in, well, it depends on the town, of course, but you know, let's just use the Boston metro area. It's, it's over $600,000. Um, you know, if you're going to spend that kind of money to, to not have a, a, an actual home inspection done, you know, is insane. There could be hundreds of thousands of dollars in repairs that you may not know about uh, prior to purchasing that. And God forbid you buy it, you move in, and next thing you know, you discover that the sill plate is rotted out, or that the roof is falling in on itself, or the chimney is pulling the house off of its foundation. I mean, there's so many things, crazy things that I've seen firsthand that um, you know get caught during a home inspection that you wouldn't even know about. So. You know, you may be happy that you got the house, but at what cost, right? I mean, if it could put you in financial ruin. So anyways, let's keep going here. Uh, Dave Clutch of, Mini of Minnesota-based Harmony Home Inspections says a better alternative is a pre-listing inspection, but that's done by a seller prior to listing a property for sale. A pre-listing inspection is a full home inspection intended to alert a seller to repairs that either need to be fixed or disclosed before putting a home on the market. Sellers can throw the pre-listing inspection report on their dining room table, Clutch says. It shows full disclosure. It reduces the need for real estate agents to haggle over price. Everyone wins. This is fantasy land. You know, the reality is, is no seller in a hot market in a seller's market like this is going to pay to have a, a pre listing inspection report to throw on the dining room table. It's just not going to happen. So I don't know where this came from, but you know, it's never, I would say it's never going to happen, but the likelihood of you seeing that, especially here in this market is next to zero. <clears throat> Dave, I'm going to butcher this last name, Torinskas, owner of Reassurance Home Inspection in Minnesota, recommends another alternative. This is a good one. Buyers could offer a small amount of earnest money to get a full home inspection. They can then agree not to make any demands based on the inspection report, or if the inspection uncovers defects that don't sit well with the buyers, they can forfeit the earnest money and inspection fee and walk away from the deal. <clears throat> that is a great strategy, right? Put up two, three, four, five thousand dollars say, hey, look, I'm just gonna have a home inspection done. If I find something, and I want to back out of the deal, that $5,000, I'm just using a random number, but let's say that $5,000 to the seller, you can keep it. So the likelihood of someone accepting, a seller accepting your offer with that contingency in there is much higher than just having a standard inspection contingency. Now the other strategy is, and something that isn't necessarily discussed here, is that there is a damage waiver threshold that you can set as a buyer that says, okay, I'm going to have a home inspection done, but I'm going to say that um, anything less than, I don't know, $15,000, we're not even going to bring up. So, it, you know, we're, basically what we're saying is we're not going to nickel and dime. And that threshold can be anything. It could be 10, 15, 20, $25,000. I guess it depends on how expensive the house is. but. Um, that is another strategy. I've personally used that with a client of mine. It worked flawlessly. It was great. We had the home inspection done. There were a couple of things that they found, but no showstoppers. Um, but it was certainly things that they needed to know prior to purchasing the home so that they could plan for that uh, and make some, some repairs prior to moving in. So uh, it is still really important to make sure that you have that home inspection done. Uh, Anyways, those are my thoughts on, on home inspections. I think it's a great idea. I, I think it's an absolute must for a first time home buyer to have a home inspector come in and, and look at the property with the exception of it being, if it was say brand new construction and comes with a one year warranty or some, or even two or three year warranties. Um, you know, in that situation, you probably don't need a, a home inspector, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to have another set of eyes on it to make sure that you've, um, you know, the construction of the building is, is up to code, although it's going to be because it's, brand new construction and they have a permit process in place. So uh, love to get your, your feedback and your thoughts. Uh, just put in the comments down below um, if you agree or disagree or if it's something that um, you think you can just wave and, and not have to worry about it. I, I'd be really fascinated to see that. Um, also, if again, if this is your first time here, uh, please hit that like button and, uh, and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.